Hello again, year one. Um, I hope you're okay. We're going to have a look at some more reading today and we're going to have a look at some more phase three sounds. Um, it's going to be the same kind of format as yesterday. So we're going to read through some of the text and then we're going to answer some questions. So first things first, let's have a look at the text that we're going to read today. Okay, so it's called On the River. On the River. Okay, what I'd like you to do is I want you to see if you can have a read of this for me. So remember yesterday when we put our sound buttons on to make it a bit easier, maybe you could have a go at that. If you feel confident reading it without the sound buttons, you can have a go at that. But I would, what I'd like everyone to do is pause the video now, have a go at reading this for me and then come back because then I will put my sound buttons on and we'll read it through together. See you in a moment. Okay, let's put my sound buttons on then. So we've got our title. We know that it's called On the River. I wonder what our text is going to be about. Also, we've got a picture. We've got a picture of a cat and we've got a picture of, I think it's an owl, but it also looks a bit like a penguin, um, in a boat on some water. So I think that the title is right. I think we're on about a river. Let's pop some sound buttons on then. So I'm going to start with my title. So we've got on, on, tricky word, the, er, e, v, er. River on the river because we need to make sure that we're looking at those individual phonemes and the diagraphs or trigraphs as well, don't we? So let's have a look. We've got a, n, an, owl, 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 and owl, and we know that word, we know that we just sound it, we just read it. That's a tricky word. We've got our clever phonics brains and we know what it says. An owl and a k -at cat. I can't see those ones. There we go. An owl and a cat. Okay, so it's an owl. It's not a penguin. Super. We've got an owl and a cat. S -et set. S -a -l sail. I -n in. A -b -o -t boat. An owl and a cat set sail in a boat. See, we know that they're in a boat and we know that we've got a cat and an owl. D, ow, n, down, tricky word, the, er, i, v, er, river. An owl and a cat set sail in a boat down the river. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to see. Okay. Tricky word, they, s at, sat, on, on, they sat on a rock, rock. They sat on a rock, tricky word, two, oh, let's have a look at this one. Oh, what two different sounds can this make? Uh oh, uh oh, now this one, would I say they sat on a rock to look or they sat on a rock to look? That's right. We've got uh, uh, k, look. They sat on a rock to look f or for f -i -sh, fish. They sat on a rock to look for fish. Ooh. Do you think owls and cats both like fish? I wonder tricky word the s uh, n, sun tricky word was hot hot the sun was hot do you think the fish smell nice in the warmth Ooh. tricky word the k at cat a d had the cat had a R or d rod and tricky word the the cat had a rod and the owl s a n sang a s a n song the cat had a rod and the owl sang a song tricky word the k at cat a 
had the cat had lots lots tricky word of fish fish the cat had lots of fish tricky word to er e l real e n the cat had lots of fish to reel in tricky word the k at cat at had six six but it g big fish fish or four the cat had six big fish for d i n uh, dinner the cat had six big fish for dinner what a greedy cat okay what i'm going to do now i'm going to read this with expression to show you what it could sound like okay an owl and a cat set sail in a boat down the river they sat on a rock to look for fish. The sun was hot. The cat had a rod and the owl sang a song. The cat had lots of fish to reel in. The cat had six big fish for dinner. Goodness me, what a greedy cat. Do you think he shared any with the owl? That would have been kind, wouldn't it? Okay, now we've read the text. I would like you to pause the video and I want you to see if you can answer some of these questions for me. Okay, now I tell you what, before I start, let me read them. I won't go through them yet, but I'll read them to see if you can have a go independently. Don't worry if not, we can go through them together in a moment, okay? So, which of these E words was in the text? You can go and have a look at the text like we did yesterday and see which E word was used. Where does the story start? Where are they at the start of the story? How many fish does the cat catch? We've just spoken about how greedy the cat is. Does he share any with the owl? Find it in there for me. And then a thinking one. How do you think the cat feels about eating six fish for dinner? Pause this video now for me. You go and have a go at the questions and then come back and we'll work through them together. See you in a moment. Okay, I hope you had a good go at those. Let's have a go together then. So, which of these E words is in the text. We've got real, leak and feel. So I've got to look for this E sound. Now this kind of helps me because I put my sound buttons on so I can remember I found an E sound but I can't remember where it was. Let's scan the text. Let's see if I can find an E sound. <clears throat> you shout at me. Tell me when you see one on the sheet. Say, Miss Reeve, stop! Oh, I could hear something shouting in my ear then. Can I hear you all the way from Cockgrave? Goodness me. Right, what does this word say then? We've got er, e, l, real. Let's see if that's in my list. Oh, it is, it's the first one. We've got real. Super. So I found that information by scanning my text. I had a look to see if I could find it. The next question says, where does the story start? Now, if I didn't have a look at the answers there, I could say, well, the story started at the start of the page. But that's not what the question's asking. Let's have a look at the answers. So it says, where does the story start? In a boat? On the rocks? Or at dinner? So the story starting we need to have a look at the first sentence so an owl and a cat set sail in a boat down the river okay so we said that the owl and the cat set sail in a boat down the river so there must be the story must start in a boat okay and i've done that by retrieving some information from the text there let me see. How many fish does the cat catch? We've got the options of 10, 6 and 16. Now, I don't know about you, but I can remember that we looked at that at the end of the story, didn't we? Because we spoke about 
did the cat share any and the cat must be greedy. So let me have a look to see where I think it is. Aha, I can see the cat had six big fish for dinner. So I know that the answer is six. Okay, and my last question, it says, how do you think the cat feels about eating six big fish for dinner? Goodness me. Now, this one is up to you. It's how, what you think. So the question is, how do you think? But I'm going to answer it in a full sentence. And I think... The cat feels full. from eating six fish at dinner. And I've included my capital letter, my finger spaces and my full stops. Well done at having a go at that. If you found it tricky, let your class teacher know and I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out to make it a little bit easier for you or work through it together. Okie doke, thank you very much and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye!